We'll now get this database working by creating a button so the user can add any incorrect cards to that database and we'll set this up in the results box. So let's pull up the results box. So here we have drinks, so we want to create a third button. So let's navigate to the results box. Flashcards page, results box. So here we have two buttons. Let's create the third button. We'll copy an existing button, paste this in, update the title to save incorrect cards, delete the code inside the callback, hot reload. And now we see a third button has popped up. So when we press this button, we want to save to the database. So where do we get the incorrect cards from? If we go to flashcards notifier, we have a variable incorrect cards, which is a list of word. So we can just read from this list. Now, firstly, I'm just going to make sure incorrect cards is always empty before we populate it. So in reset, this is when we exit the flashcards page by calling dot clear. Now let's jump back to the results box. So we need to read that list. And we can do that already because at the top here, we have a consumer which will access flashcards notifier. So therefore, firstly, we'll set up a loop to loop through the list. We can access that variable by using the notify variable, incorrect cards dot length. So every time we loop through, we want to insert that word into the database table. So we'll access database manager. And now we can call insert word. The word we want to insert will be incorrect cards at the index of i. All right, cool. Now, after we press the button, let's make it obvious the button has already been tapped by disabling the button. What we can do is update to a state full widget. So therefore we can call set state. We'll create a bool. We'll name this have saved cards. Set this to false by default. Then if we click this button, this callback runs, have saved cards should turn true. And we need to then call set state. Now, if this is true, we'll disable the button by in the on pressed have saved cards. If that is true, we'll return null. Otherwise, we'll return this callback. And on a similar note, if the session is already completed, let's hide the button so it does not show up. So we'll copy this code here, which does the same thing. Paste this in, and now if we have no incorrect cards, we won't even see the button. Now let's also add the async and await keywords. And to see if this is working, let's also read from the database here. So we'll just print out how many words have been added to the database table. All right, let's test this. Okay, so we have one word, which is printed out here, added to the table, and that button is disabled. Let's add another word. Let's add tiger. Cool, so we should have two words, yes. Let's add a third word. All right, brilliant. So we have three words. Let's answer a card correctly. So all of the cards correctly, just one card in this pack, and that button doesn't show up. Okay, great. So the next thing is, is we want these cards to be displayed in the review page.